All right, just a real quick one here. I, I actually just need a link to a little video, but maybe it's useful for other people. On Quora, there was a question uh, flagged up for me. It said, what are some typical standard dimensions to use for InDesign files? And I think the easiest way is to show the little video. So if you go into InDesign here, I start typing something, but you know, YouTube is great for just getting right down to it, you know. So you go in InDesign, you get you actually can start right here with create new, or you go file, new document, and there you'll see a list of the presets that will help you get started. The most common and typically used uh, file or document sizes. You get your recents, you get your save, and you get you know over here the most common for print. Do all presets like A4 in Europe or in rest of the world, US letter in uh, North America, um, A3, which is double A4, or A5, which is half of A4, typical sizes right here. Um, you get your US business card, you got a compact disc, uh, you also have web. So if you're doing something for online use, for the internet particularly, you have some standard dimensions here. And you have your mobile, which are you know, very handy if you're making a, uh, an app or what have you um, to be used on an iPad or a, a Android. Now, what's nice about these, if I go to, say, print and uh, I select A4, I can always over here on the right-hand side um, adjust these and make my own new uh, saved presets. Say, if you know, if you need something, if you want to view in inches or millimeters, centimeters, you can easily do that and you can easily adjust things to whatever you need. Um, there's also more information, you get right down into the margins and the uh, bleeds and the slug information. So you can be if you're in any given preset area, you can also you get into templates, which is taking it further than just setting up the page sizes, but getting into the actual you know, layouts like, hey, here's a fun poster design or a modern studio book layout, simple magazine layout. So if you click on that, or you're going to first download it, you can then load that up and it tells you the presets that are used to, to, to do that. So that's pretty cool. Um, stick a legal size. There's a lot of help in InDesign and all this information, you can always go and go file document setup and you can also change sizes if you already started something oh, whoops I need you know make this a little bit different for whatever reason it might be you can go here and change that so that's just a quick tip uh, common or typical document sizes in InDesign and how to set them up by the way one last thing if we go over to marksware.com there you get information on our products but also want to you know give a shout out to where we'll be this coming June in New Orleans in the United States at the Creative Pro Week, which is you know a group of a small thousand people that will be there learning and hearing from professionals and networking and interacting and learning all these type of things and you know far more you know in depth and and and, and uh, pro tips to help us all become better graphic designers, layout artists, and what have you. So you know shout out here. Go to marshall.com and click on discounts available. You can get much more information on the Creative Pro Week coming up in June in the USA on the mighty, mighty Mississippi down there in New Orleans. Thank you. David Dilling from Marshall wishing you a fantastic day.